In times of uncertainty and when feeling down, we always want to turn to things that make us feel better or tend to put a smile on our faces. For me, a cup of coffee and a good book that's the trick. Hello humans of the world and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Shaheen Ali. My name is Shaheen and in this video, I am going to list some books or alternate universes for you to turn to when searching for hope and happiness. I could not keep this book down. Like literally. I have absolutely no words to describe this book, but I will try. This book completely revolves around a girl who is meticulous in everything. She has a predisposed notion that nobody likes her and that everybody is boring and petty. She has a haunting past and a trauma surrounding her which prevents her from making new connections, let alone sustain them. She has an opinion about everything and is not scared to voice it out. Soon, things start to change when she befriends a man called Raymond. They soon become friends and from there, Eleanor starts to break down her wall, brick by brick. This book is about purity of intentions, importance of helping a friend, importance of making a new connection, importance of unbiased kindness, overcoming the worst and ultimately finding happiness. This book is written with certain ease and flair that is both easy to understand and grasp. When the book ends, you are left with a smile on your face and with a hope that everything will be completely fine. This book is a masterpiece. Everyone I know who have read this book have two things in common. One, they absolutely and utterly love this book. And second, everyone has notes from it. This book follows a woman named Ella who is happy in her marriage with two kids. She's a manuscript reader and comes across an amazing book written by the author named Aziz. The book that she reads is about relationship between Rumi and Shams and the 40 rules of love penned down by Shams. The book follows the journey of Ella and the author beautifully intertwines the two stories where when Ella is posed with a life problem, she finds answers in the stories of Rumi and Shams. The book proceeds where Ella finds herself through the book written by Aziz. She falls in love with herself breaks through the conventional living and ultimately has the courage to follow her heart and live a life she always wanted. The book also portrays a beautiful relationship of Rumi and Shams, learn lessons which completely transform our lives. There is this beautiful quote from the book that goes as, Okay, this book is one of those books which does not teach us any major life lesson but when you read it, you feel good. It is a classic piece by Jane Austen and revolves around a family with five daughters who are all in the age of marriage. Their mother is a control freak and wants all the five daughters to marry into a rich family so that they don't end up like her with nothing to turn to. Well, her obsession of getting her daughters married is the one all girls can relate to. I read this book when I was in 10th standard and from then, this is one of those books which I turn to when I want to feel good. It is one of those books in which we know what is exactly going to happen, but we still want to read it because we just want to enjoy it. The confessions of forbidden love, the misunderstandings, the family betrayals, all compile to make an amazingly peaceful read. Artists have a way to make our lives a much better place. They give themselves to us so that we can have a better day. All these books instill in us a kind of hope and happiness and make us believe that the world could be a better place. Endings of these books leave a lasting smile on our faces, which in turn leaves a deep impact on our lives. All of these books have a lesson to teach us and if not a lesson, then has the power to make us feel good and leave hopeful for a better tomorrow. In these times, when every day there is a sad news knocking on our door, we need to stay positive and look at the brighter side of things. And these books help you see exactly that. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Share it with your friends and family. Comment in the section below which of these books have you read and what you felt about it. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification button to always stay updated. Hasta pronto, mis amigos. Until next time.